guys. Today I'm working on a 2015 Honda Pilot. And what we're doing is putting the little four flat, four flat um, trailer lot wiring plug on it. And we got in a kit, I think it came from Kurt. I'll get you the part number stuff on that in a minute. Um, the hardest part was getting this little dead plug out um, to put the wiring harness into it up underneath the bumper. <coughs> I'll show you that right quick. All it is. I just zip tied it right here. That way it's convenient. And it's got the little cover that comes to go on it. Um, and then, to get up under here, there's a plug right here. It's over the exhaust tip, right there, which I, I wasn't real sure about that when I saw it, but anyways, right there. And you see the wiring harness go across and out where it, you just saw it on the outside of the vehicle. Um, I zip tied it in two or three different places. And all you do is push it in. It should hear it click. And I did. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but I did. That thing was a pain to get out. But if you pull down on this, it'll pop right out. And you can get out a lot easier. Like I say I got my finger. No spot on my hand. I mean, it just was so much easier whenever I actually took that down from the frame and hung it down over here and pulled it out. That's the hardest part of the process. <laughs> so you plug that in. You come across through here. Zip tie it to the back of the bumper and run it out in a good location where it's going to be out of the way, but it's also going to be available. <coughs> the next part of it this wiring harness right here. Now this doesn't run down to the other wiring harness. It's all pre-wired by Honda, which I thought was pretty great. But what I did is I've already reached up in there and snapped it together, and it's a pain in the butt to get out. I heard it click. I've already checked it. Everything works, so I'm not going to unplug it. But I'll show you what we got. You see that, that plug? You just line it up, push it together, you'll hear it click, you're done. Then you'll have just this small harness coming out right here and there's a fuse holder right here and I've already put the fuse in because the fuse is still out under the hood I'll show you that in a minute so you just feed all this in there there's some double sided tape and just stick it to the back side of the plastic or somewhere where it's not going to rattle around I think that's all that's for is to keep it from rattling around while you're going down the road so that part is simple enough once you put this back in and I'll do that off camera because I don't have any way to edit right now so I'm just trying to do it as fast as I can you just pop this door back on and you're all good and like I said I'm gonna tidy that up a lot before we're done um, what I needed to put it in I use these to cut the zip ties I use a screwdriver to pop the door open and I had to use both of these to get the dead plug out and the next thing, the last thing, is you come around to the front of the vehicle and right here in this fuse box, when you pull it off, you'll notice it says trailer. It comes with this fuse too. It comes with all the fuses and all the needed hardware. And I'm sorry about the flash being right in everybody's eyes, but count one, two, three. Where it says trailer on these right here, I got one, two, three. So I'm gonna take this fuse and count one, two, three. We're gonna put that fuse in that hole. Put your fuse box cover back on, and then if you don't mind turning it back on, hitting the turning your tail lights on. There's your tail lights. Turn your tail lights off. Turn them back on. And do your left turn. And do your right turn. And turn the turn the signal off and push your brakes.
there you go. So it's in, it's functional. All I gotta do is button it up. It's pretty self-explanatory, very easy to do. And I'll show you that part number right now. This is for a 2015. Make sure that you get the right one because the other one, you actually did have to run the wiring harness around a little bit. 56170 and it's a Kurt and I think we've been working on this for maybe 20 minutes it's super simple I highly recommend it if I ever have to have another one for this truck that's what I'm going with I mean I just yeah it's been very easy easy installation except for that dead plug <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching hope everybody's having a good day talk to you again soon see you